Today is a big holiday. I'm not sure if you knew this. It's National Cookie Day. And just in time for this important holiday, we're going to start baking some festive holiday treats this morning. The Valley today is Abby Furchner has her apron on, and uh, I'm guessing that the oven is on. Although earlier you said some of these treats you can do in the microwave, or you don't even have to bake at all. I love that. Yeah, this is one of those where you don't have to do any baking at all. You just have to get some icing and an ice cream cone and you're set to go. I'm here with Emily Brooks and Emily, this is one where kids can really get creative with the decorations and it's a super simple process. So we have our ice cream cones. What's the next step? Next step is the frosting. Uh. So when I bought the frosting, they didn't necessarily have green. If you can find one in green, buy it to just keep it a little bit easier. But I even mixed the colorant right into the can and just oh, stirred it just nice. to make it extra easy. But if you want to grab your knife, okay. we'll start frosting our cones. And I found it easiest to kind of put my fingers inside the cone so you don't end up with frosting all over. And you said you made these with your daughter last <gasps> night. Yes, and so we had so much fun. What was her favorite part? Was it the frosting? I'm sure eating it, of course, is always the best part. Well, you part. have to do a little <laughs> taste testing as you go, yes. But she loved to take the time and just place each of the little ornaments on the trees. Um, so you can do any kind of variation you want to do. For garland, you could put, you know, a little bit of um, licorice, like that little rope oh, licorice, if you want to do idea. a garland on it. And then also, you have a son and he's 15, but did he love to get creative in the kitchen too? Yes. One of his favorite things to make when he was really little was the candy cane pretzels. Oh. So yeah, it's fun to have these little traditions that, you know, we do every year and um, and i think it's fun too that no matter what age even a teenager it's like this tis the season of course you have to get creative in the kitchen it's like a family tradition oh totally and uh you get to listen to some christmas music and just make it super festive we right. like to put on the fireplace and Love decorate that. together so. and then we have just like these red hots and some sprinkles but you really can use kind of whatever you want when it comes to the decorations. Absolutely, I even found some little um, candy cane sprinkles too oh. that look like mini mini candy canes on your tree. So it's it's great where you can find, I know that there are little marshmallows that are star shaped too. Oh cute. That um, you can order on Amazon. Perfect so. for a topper. So this is just one of those simple desserts that you can create in the kitchen. I love how easy it is, how kid friendly it is, but we have a lot more that we want to show you. So we'll show you another recipe here in just a few minutes. Fun stuff. I like Keep that you're keeping it easy, <laughs> too. Abby Furchner reporting live for us. Thank you.